Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I wanted to do my current summer makeup look. Summer makeup looks are my absolute favorite because I am such a lover of like glowy, healthy looking skin, um, but I also love to apply makeup. So I love being able to apply makeup in a way that makes me look like my best self. So today I will be sharing with you how I get this makeup look, which is my everyday makeup look at the moment and I've got so many awesome new products in here and with that all the products that I use in this video will be linked in the description box alongside all of my shades so it should all be down there for you um, for your reference I know that that can be really really helpful um, but yeah so anyways before we get started, don't forget to subscribe because I would love to have you guys join the family as well. I will leave my Instagram up here for you to follow as well. But anyways, let's get into this summer makeup look. I've got a clean face. I did part of my skincare. So let's get started with my makeup. This is the makeup look that I've been doing pretty much every single day. I always do variations of this. I feel like if you look at old videos, you'll see that I've been using the same technique for my makeup for years, so let's get into this. So first things first, and that is SPF. Now obviously this isn't a skincare routine, but regardless of whether you're only wearing skincare that day or you're only wearing makeup that day, the one thing you should never ever forget is your SPF, and this is one that I've been loving. So this is the Elta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. Now this one has no tint, and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna do one pump of that. Sunscreen on. Now that sunscreen is on, let's move on to foundation. Now, foundation is the one thing that I change a lot depending on how my skin is doing. I do love, you know, my By Terry CC Serum, but recently I've been loving this particular combo. Now, this is my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation, and then I have my Valentino Beauty Foundation. And I really use this one because it adds a really good tint to my skin, but it doesn't cover any of my little like beauty marks or anything like that, which I love. So I like applying these two with a beauty blender, um, and usually I'll do like half a pump of the Charlotte Tilbury one, so just a really tiny amount. And then I'll go in with like a quarter of a pump of the Valentino Beauty one, just to add a little bit of color. So you'll see, just like that, so not a lot. And then I will go in and apply that all over. You'll see it adds a really nice natural tint on my face. it almost looks like I'm not wearing anything on my skin and that's what I love about these two particular foundations they look so natural on the skin but they've just given me a really nice wash of color um, and yeah so that's the first thing next up is contour I have been really loving this NARS Laguna bronzer so this is in the original shade I honestly think it's a great dupe for the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel so if that one isn't quite in your budget then this one is absolutely amazing and I'm gonna go in with with like my end all be all brush, which is my MAC 188 brush. I'm not sure if this one's still available, but I will link something similar below for you. So this is really pigmented. So I use a tiny, tiny amount and I build it up because it is really, really pigmented. A little goes a long, long way. Like I grab the tiniest amount and it's just so pigmented. Now the trick with this bronzer is to start with a little and build it up. I have had multiple instances with this bronzer where it's gotten super patchy on me and it just hasn't looked good and I've realized it's because I used too much right off the bat. So be very, very gentle with it, add a little bit um, and then start to build it up to the color um, and the strength that you kind of want it on your face. But I find that out of all the bronzers I've used, this one has like the most perfect color. It's as you can see, it's not too like cool tone, so it looks like a contour, but it's also not too orangey, so it looks super orangey on your face. Um, we don't want any oompa loompas over here. <laughs> um, so this bronzer is truly just wonderful. And again, you just need a little bit. And I'll just bring a little bit underneath to tie everything in. 
All right, and that's my bronzer. Next is my favorite thing, concealer. Um, now, I am a concealer junkie. I love using tons of concealers. And when I posted, I think it was like a TikTok or a reel of me putting concealer on, people were asking me why I was using three different types of concealers. And the reason is each concealer serves a different purpose. So I'm gonna start off with the first concealer that I always use regardless of what I'm putting on after, and that is my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now this shade has been specifically chosen to color correct. So this is not a perfect color match to my skin. In fact, it is a very peachy undertone, and that is because it's meant to cover any dark circles. So um, again, same thing. You only need a little bit of this, and I will just go in right in the darkest part of my eyes, um, which is right here in the inner corner. And I will do that on both sides. And again, you only need a little bit. Um, so that is my color correcting concealer. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite um, concealer brush, which is the Morphe M173. So you can see it's really short and stubby, but it works perfectly for um, blending out concealer. And so I'm just gonna tap that in. Now on days that I am like in a pinch with time and I just need to head out the door, um, but I need to look like alive and you know, ready to head out, um, I will simply do just this concealer and I'm ready to go. Um, you can't even tell that I'm wearing makeup. Um, I find that with the NARS concealer, I don't have to set it. Um, it sets on its own really, really beautiful. Um, and it also doesn't move around like other concealers. So with this one, I just put it on and I can head out the door, but that's not what I'm doing today. <laughs> so after I've done that, I am then gonna go in with my um, Dior Forever Skin Corrector. Um, one of my favorite, favorite concealers. This one I've purchased um, specifically to be a perfect color match to my skin. So on a day where I don't have a lot of dark circles, I can put this on and it'll cover everything that I need it to while still looking very hydrated and healthy. Um, and of course it looks very, very natural on the skin. So with this one, what I like to do is just add a little bit around the eye area. And now I do have a little bit of redness around my nose and kind of on my eyelids. So what I'll do is I'll add a little bit just on the sides of my nose as well as on my eyelids. Now with this one, it's totally up to you. You can use a brush, um, you can use a beauty blender. I find it's a little bit faster with the beauty blender, so I'll often just go in with my beauty blender and just blend that in really quickly. It blends in super nicely and it looks so natural. And I'll sometimes bring this over my nose as well. That is what it looks like after you've added the Dior concealer. Now you could very well leave it at this. I will oftentimes leave it just like this. I think it looks very, very natural. Um, but I do love a bright under eye look. And this is one of my absolute favorite tricks to use. So this is my Rare Beauty Concealer. Um, now this is my highlighting concealer because I find that this particular um, formula is really lightweight. It doesn't really cover much. It just, it just, doesn't do anything to me, um, but it's wonderful for brightening. So that's what I use it for. So what I do is I kind of take off the excess and I will go in right underneath my eye, just like that. Again, you're only using a little bit. And likewise, you can use a brush or um, a beauty blender. I'm gonna use my beauty blender today. And I'm just gonna blend this in and it just brightens it up so, so much. I love this look. I find it looks so beautiful and it just makes your eyes look so awake. Um, I love it, it's a trick I love using. I use it almost every single day, regardless of what concealer I'm using underneath. I just think it looks stunning. Now that I'm done in my concealer, sometimes I'll check to ensure that my bronzer is good and that I don't need to add any more today looks great. So now that we're done with cream products, now I'm gonna go in with the product that has kind of changed the game for me. Um, and that is my Valentino V Lighter. This is like the end all be all of like highlighting products. You can use it as a base to add a really beautiful glowy, um, you know, foundation, or you can use it as a highlighter. You can use it on your eyelids. It really is like 
it just does everything. But the way I like to use it is I like to put a little bit on my um, stippling brush here. So this is my MAC 188 brush. So I'll use the tiniest amount and I will brush that onto my cheekbones. And immediately you've got like the most beautiful glow. It's, I honestly have never tried a product like this in my life. And I don't know why no more people talk about it, but it's absolutely stunning. And I just, I don't know, don't think I could ever live without this product after trying it. Um, so again, I just put this on my cheekbones. And those of you who've been around for a while, you will know that my favorite, favorite thing to do is to add highlighter to my nose. I think it looks so cute. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add some highlighter just to the tip of my nose. And I think it looks super pretty. <laughs> so that's that. Um, again, a product I have been absolutely loving. It's the absolute best. But now let's move on to powder. So for powders, I have two setting powders that I absolutely love. The first one is my Makeup Forever um, setting powder. The second one is my Laura Mercier. Now for the summer, I've actually really been loving my Laura Mercier. For a while, I was on the Makeup Forever, um, but I think just because of the hot weather and the heat and the humidity, this one has actually looked much more natural underneath my eyes than the Makeup Forever one. So that's what I've been using. So. I like to use this brush here. So this is my Morphe M504. It's just like a nice little fluffy brush. So I will go in, take some on my brush and then on the lid, I will just take off all the excess. I find with the Laura Mercier um, setting powder, the less you use, the better. So I'm gonna go in and just tap that in underneath my eyes and on my eyelids. And again, just using the excess on the lid going on the other eye. All done. Now for eyeshadow, I have been loving this little Dior palette. It is so, so wonderful. And these are the shades in it. Just like the most perfect, like summer glowy colors. So the first color that I'm gonna start with is this one right here, which is like a shimmery base. I'm gonna take that in my like kind of crease and just blend that in. Now you guys know, I'm not the greatest with eyeshadows, but I try. <laughs> That's the crease done. Now I'm gonna go in with the color in the center, um, which is a matte color. Now on days where I want something a little bit more dramatic, I'll actually mix it in. <laughs> you can tell I'm not a makeup YouTuber. Um, <laughs> on days that I'm wanting something a little bit more dramatic, I'll actually mix in these two shades here, so the darker one. Um, and then the one in the middle. And for reference, this is the Coral Paisley palette. Um, that's what it's called if you're looking for it. So again, I'm gonna go in the center one and just start blending that in. And that is it for my eyeshadow. I keep it super, super simple. Now on to bronzer. My favorite bronzer, you guys know, is the Chanel um, Lace Beige Healthy Glow Illuminating Powder in Sunset. This one has unfortunately been discontinued and as you can see, I'm pretty much out of it, um, which is very sad, but I found you guys a new one and this has been my new favorite. So this is the Chanel Lace Beige um, Oversized Healthy Glow Sun Kiss Powder in Medium. So this is the medium shade and it looks like this. I've been using it a lot, so it's a, it's a little messy. Um, but it's the most beautiful, beautiful bronzed um, shade, and you only need a tiny, tiny amount of this one. This one is super, super pigmented, so this will probably last you a lifetime. Um, and for brush, this I get so many questions on this one. This is an old Pure Minerals. I think Pure Minerals is now Bare Minerals. Um, so unfortunately, you can't get your hands on this one anymore, but I will link a similar one if I can. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with the tiniest. I go in like one tap on this bronzer. And then I'm just gonna add this to my cheeks. This also has the most beautiful like glowiness to it. Again, it just looks like you're glowing from within um, with this bronzer. It's just stunning. And I always bring it underneath and around my jaw. That is bronzer all done again. I love the look of this bronzer. I think it just looks so glowy and so healthy. I love it so much. 
Now for highlight, I don't always use highlight because I use either my Valentino one um, or I just find that the products that I use themselves are already so glowy. But one that I have been loving for some time now is the um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Multi Glow all over glow highlighter. Um, this one is absolutely stunning. It's got a shade of different colors. The glow on this just looks stunning. So I love adding this to my cheeks. I'll just use a fluffy brush here and just adding this all over. I think it looks so, so pretty. So that's that. I think it looks stunning. And then before I move on to eyebrows and eyelashes, what I love to do is use my setting spray. So the setting spray that I absolutely love, and I'm almost out of this, it's like my third bottle. But this is my Dior Forever Perfect Fix Set Refresh Hydrate. Now this one is not the setting spray that's gonna make your makeup stay on for 24 hours. This isn't what this does. What I find that this does, it makes my makeup come together. I find that when I apply makeup, my skin always feels like a little dry and it just feels like I have product on my skin. And every time I use this, it makes my face feel so hydrated, makes my makeup come together and look like it's not sitting on top of my skin because my least favorite thing is when I put on makeup, it looks and feels like it's sitting on top of my skin. I want everything to be blended together and that's what this does. I also, I love the mist on it and I love the fragrance on it. I'm not a big fragrance person, um, but this literally smells heavenly. So I'm gonna put this on. Okay, that's that. It just makes my skin feel so, so hydrated. Um, now onto eyebrows. My favorite eyebrow product of all time is still the Glossier Boy Brow. I use it in the shade black and it's just the best. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this and just brush out my eyebrows. Eyebrows are done. And then an eyelash curler. Another thing I get tons and tons of questions about, but this is a super old Anna Sui eyelash curler. Um, I haven't replaced it in years because it's still in perfect condition. Um, but if I ever do replace it, I will let you know which one I get, but yeah. <laughs> And for mascara, I will be using one of my current favorites, which is the Dior Dior Show Mascara. I love this one because it looks so, so natural on, um, and it's also really easy to take off. I Nothing bugs me more than mascaras that are an absolute pain in the butt to take off. Like, I don't wanna be there scrubbing my eyes at the end of the night. I just wanna be able to put my cleanser all over my skin and my eyes and my face and have it take off everything and that's why i love the dior mascaras they are a breeze to take off and that's just brownie points for dior for making a mascara that's easy to take off <laughs> so that is the dior mascara like you can hardly tell i'm wearing mascara um, because it looks so so natural and I just I love that if you want something a little bit more voluminous I would add two coats, but I like my lashes to look really really natural again I've always loved that like no makeup makeup look and this is the perfect mascara for that And that is my mascara and the last thing for my makeup look is going to be this this has been my favorite lip product I've been using it for several months now, I haven't told you about it. I've been gatekeeping. Um, I'm kidding, I haven't. <laughs> I just haven't had a chance to share it with you guys. But this is the Clay de Peau Lip Glorifier. Now, this I would say is very, very comparable to the Dior Lip Glow. It looks very, very similar, but I would say the biggest difference is that this looks a little bit glowier on the lips. It also doesn't give as much of a pink tint as the Dior Lip Glow does. Um, which I think I kind of prefer. I think I like it to just be a little bit more glowier and less pinky on the lips, but I absolutely love this. It feels so, so hydrating. It's literally been my favorite lip product um, these past few months and I couldn't recommend it enough. It's the best. So that completes my summer makeup look. This is a look that you can obviously take your own variations on, but I love to keep it just very glowy and bronzy. And oftentimes I will skip all of the foundation and just jump straight into bronzer and concealer. 
and you have a super super easy and quick makeup look this is also something i can do in like 10 minutes uh, which i love for days that i am in a rush and it just it's perfect i will leave all of the makeup products that i have used in the description box alongside all the shades that i use that way you guys have all the information that you need if you enjoyed this don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as do subscribe so i would love to have you guys join the family i will also leave my instagram up here for you to follow as i would love to have you there as well um but anyways that concludes today's video so i will see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.